So, I don't know, third time's a charm, right? I certainly hope so. Uh, I have sewn my single seed twice already for the single seed challenge for 2021 and neither have germinated so here we are I'm doing a third try with a third different type of method my first try I put in a milk jug the winter sewing method so you know cut the milk jug almost all the way in half I did sew a handful of other varieties at the same time as my single seed. I marked my single seed with a blue marker um, and marked all the other ones with white markers. So I did sow additional um, seeds of that same variety. It's the Proven Winners Tempting Tomatoes Good Hearted. Um, so none of them germinated, none of the Good Hearted Tomatoes germinated. Um, so not just my single seed, all the other varieties germinated. Um, so for my second try, it was getting a little bit warmer, and I thought, okay, I'm going to sew it directly in the pot that I want to grow it in. So did a bit of a modified version, cut the whole top of the milk jug off, um, and made a little bit of a greenhouse on top of um, the pot itself. So put my single seed in the pot, um, put my milk jug top on it, um, and now we're at the end of day 10. The packet at least says that um, it should germinate with, um, within five to ten days. So it's the end of day ten. Uh, I've had tomato seeds germinate, um, you know, 20 days in or something like that, but I'm starting to get a little bit antsy. I'm not going to disturb that round two. I still haven't disturbed the first round um, and nothing has happened, um, but so I just want to see. So I'm going to try a third method here, um, which I germinated um, some Cherokee purple and some beefsteak tomatoes this way um, just a week or so ago and they're doing fine so after they germinated I transplanted them into a uh, winter sowing milk jug to, uh, to have them um, fully come up. I have not used um, seed starting mix for any of these tomatoes um, I did buy some. That'll be take four if this doesn't work. Uh, take four, um, well, this will be sort of the second step of, of, of take three here. So hopefully it'll germinate. Um, this is the coffee filter method. So this is damp uh, coffee filter. I'm going to get my single seed. I'm glad they sent a few more than 10 um, in this expensive little packet since none of them have germinated. Uh, so I'm going to choose my seed. Am I si choosing bad seeds? What is the deal? Uh, so I'm going to pick out my seed, stick it in the coffee filter, wrap it back up, and fold it over so it's sort of lightly making contact and stick it in my bag. So this is Good Hearted, take three with today's date, the 16th. Um, so the seeds that I germinated this way um, last week, um, I think maybe came up in five days. Uh, I did blow a little air in it to puff it up. Uh, and I stuck it in a closet that is warm, so I know that it is not too cold uh, the way that it has been cold. Um, <laughs> cold, sorry, deep south, it's not cold here. It's, um, you know, in the low 40s at night, maybe into 39. Um, it's, it's not cold. Um, it's cold by tomato germinating standards, but not real cold. Uh, so I'm going to give this a try. My plan, if this germinates, is then to, um, once it has germinated, transplant it into um, this little container to function as a little uh, mini greenhouse just until it comes up. I'll poke some more holes in it, top and bottom, um, just to give it a little bit more of a help getting started. Um, and we'll see how that goes, whether I then... Uh, 
transplant it into another milk jug or if, I, if it's going well and it's warm enough I'll try to put it straight into the pot where I have the second seed still sitting. So here we go. Take three of the single seed challenge with my uh, good hearted tomato. I really, really, really want these tomatoes to germinate and to grow. Um, this is for my daughter who's almost three. She loves to eat things out of the garden and so for her to have this pot that she knows is all her own that she will be taller than and she can walk all around and pick and eat at will um, I think would just be too much fun. She already goes and will you know pick handfuls of chard and nasturtiums and all manner of things so um, and, and she already does love tomatoes but knowing that this is hers, um, I think will be another, just sort of an extra something special. So here's to take three, third time's a charm. Cross your fingers and your toes for me. Talk to you soon.